Lukaku. You see, that girl is a total disgrace to this family. Her mother never had her out of wedlock. Why would she give birth to a bastard for me in this house? Eh? My brother, hmm? what can you be? Eh? Wait to be calm down. The mistake has been made a long time ago. What you should be thinking about now is how to remedy the situation and not crying over speed milk. Look at what remedy? What remedy are you talking about? I said it before and I will repeat it over and over that no daughter of mine will raise a bastard in my house. My brother, brother, hmm? what you can know, what you can see, uh, calm down. But listen, no. This girl will not take this blame alone, no. You and I will share in taking this blame. Because we as elders sat at home while children mistook vulture for kite. What did we do? Exactly. What did we do? Exactly my point. I am doing something now. That is why I said Nkiru will not bring that bastard, that thing into this house. Hey, 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 my husband, I greet you. Indeed. Nana, it's been long I saw you smiling like this. <laughs> what happened? I'm smiling and dancing because I have good news for you people. <laughs> I thought as much. So what good news? I'm just coming from the hospital now. Guess what? Ikiru has been delivered of a bouncy baby boy! <laughs> a boy? A very handsome boy for that matter. You need to see him. <laughs> I hope she's okay. I mean, the mother. Eh, She's very okay. If you see her, you will not believe that she's the one that just put to bed now. The doctor is already thinking of discharging her later in the day. <laughs> Thank you. As we are going, go straight to the hospital. And as soon as the doctor discharges her, take her along with you to your house. Yes, make sure she doesn't enter this house. Papa and Kiru, you mean you are still obsessed with that girl after all this? Why wouldn't, be as, uh, why, why wouldn't I be upset? Eh? Let me ask you, how many children did you bear for your father before getting married? Eh? I was coming with. I was coming with Nana. Nana. Please, you can go. Thank you for the message. You shall make Thank you very much. Look at the person you are interceding for. Look at her eyes. Look at her eyes. Can you see any, 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 any sign of remorse? Any sign of remorse? Any of remorse? Shameless girl. Brother, what you can be? Eh? What will be? I'm going to me. Remember how people say that when you scold a child with the left hand, you comfort the child with the right hand. You have scolded this child enough. This is time for you to comfort her. Comfort who? Nduka. Comfort who? I have not started scolding her. This is just pampering that I'm doing. Maybe you didn't hear me when I said that I will never, never, I would rather break my neck than receive this, this, this idiot and that Omali into this house. My house. What is even all this, eh? Papa and Kiru, what is wrong with you? How can you be so wicked to your own daughter like this? If her mother lets you be alive, will you do all these things to her? Will you? Where do you want her to take this child to? Where do you want her in this village to take this baby to? Nana, if you talk to me in that manner again, I will throw away the fact that you are a married woman and give you the discipline you never had from your parents. What stops you from taking her to your husband's house? Or don't you have no any accommodation? Can you imagine? Eh? What am I even worrying myself over for, eh? I've played my own part in you. If he lies, let him take you inside. If he lies, let him drop you aside. Me, I don't care anymore. I am going. Go. Am go and don't come, don't come back. Eh, I will go. Continue now. Thank you for all the care. Don't worry. God bless you. I will go. Bring your care. Hey, Ben. I'm going to care. This place. Come on, Edda, let me see you. Yeah, but if you pull him out, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Let's see who you and I will go to this house. But I wait. Are you claiming this house to be your own? Uh -uh. This I house. I am claiming it for you. Remember, let me tell you, Papa built this house. 
Papa built this house. Our father built this house. And in Kiru here is Papa's granddaughter. Uh, yes. So she has equal right as you do in this house. Oh, yeah, cousin. Uh, what's wrong with you? But Bonnie, I'm alone. No, 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 Hey, you have to go back to the house. I know your father acted in anger and wronged you. Eh? You have to go back, please. Forgive and forget, no matter what. He has been pleading and pleading and begging that you should forgive him. Eh? Please forgive him, no matter what. If not for any other thing, for the sake of that child, please go back to me. Everybody in this village thanked me and if you tried because I had an unwanted pregnancy. Nobody would let me into their house. Nobody cared for my little baby. Not even my father would let me into his house. I understand. Eh? You have to forget the father and concentrate on how to raise your child. Eh? But you have to go back to the house. My dead body would not go back to the house again. Hey, okay. Nkiru, don't talk like your father. Don't utter words that you will regret in the future. Who told you I will regret this? I will not regret anything more. Huh? Who told you I cannot raise this boy here? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hey, hey. I will raise him here. No, mommy. I hope you took the biscuit I kept for you in the cupboard. Mm. You didn't. Mm. Not to go hungry in school. I'm hungry. Be a good boy, okay? Mama. Eh? Oh. GCK. Thank you, Mama. Oh? Are you ready to go now? Yes, so I'm ready to go. Okay. Eh? Your food is inside. Okay. Mama. And now. Okay. Mama. You're doing well. Thank you. Eh? Mama. At least we'll have enough uh, firewood for a care market uh, in the next two days. Of course, Mama. Eh? <laughs> Can you so what you're, uh, Mama? Um Remember to stop by the clinic on your way and buy your drugs. Remember what the doctor said about your health. I know, but I don't think I will have enough money to buy the drugs. By the time I pay my dues at the, the Umwada meeting, I'm not sure I'll have up to 100 naira left in my bag. Uh, uh, Mommy, you can pay the dues later now and buy the drugs first. Your life is more important to us than anything. Uh, it's your cookie, but I've owed this due for a long time. But by the time, see, all that firewood you packed at the back. Hey! By the time we are done with selling them, we will have enough money to buy the drugs. <sighs> oh, Nam. Mama, mm -hmm. that means I have to uh, break more firewood now, so we'll have more to sell. Dalo, you see, oh? Thank you. Come on, One. Thank you, Dalo.
Ike, Chimobi. Ne. Organize. This is too much now. <laughs> I'm not complaining now. It's Yoku. But I went to your house and I saw heaps and heaps of firewood. You have enough for a chemical now, so why are you suffering yourself like this? And who told you that what I have is enough? Hey, 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 you are for. So bad, eh? I want to go and see that is over. Then later on I'll come to your house. You go. Okay, so bad, bro. Why you? Yes. Oh, we put it up. Wait, woman, what is the problem? Your mother. Your mother. What happened to my mother? She what? Had she had an attack at the meeting. Chimo! Hey! And her drugs are finished. Yeah. Chimo! Where is she? Where? She's Where? at the village square. Chimo! Warned you never to allow your mother to run out of drugs. How many times? Doctor, I am very, very sorry. I admit, I must admit, this one is my fault. Please, I'm sorry. It will never happen again, Doctor. Please. Please. You should be grateful to your God that you rushed her to the hospital at once. M maybe by now you will be. Bam, 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 bam. Doctor, you can't go. Nothing is going to happen to my mother at all. Even God in heaven and all the angels know that nothing will happen to my mother. Then you have to play your part and let God play his own part. I've heard you, Doctor. I'll play my own part. And thank you very much for saving our life. You can go and see her. She's okay now. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, how is she? How is she? Oh, how is she? She's fine now. Hey! She's under control. Thank God. Thank God. See, I have not been myself since I heard the news. Thank God, though. I was just coming to your house to call you. Oh. Mm. Anyway, she's fine. Uh, she's sleeping now. The doctor said I should go get food for her that she can eat when she wakes up. What would you want me to cook for her? Maybe her favorite. Come, let's go to the house and cook now. Come. No. Okay. What about you don't get the point. What point? I don't have any money left on me and we don't even have any food stuff in the house. It's okay. I wasn't even telling you to go to your house. Come, let's go to mine and cook. Eh? Come, let's go. Well, go to the father. I hope he's not around. So fast. Uh -uh. Don't you know that anything that affects you affects me? Eh? Nah. <laughs> no, Mamu. You've done so much for my mother and I. I don't even know how I can repay you. <laughs> Stop saying that. Everything I do, I do for love. Hmm? I don't think I can ever love anybody that can love you. And I always like to see you happy. <laughs> hey. Jesus, your father. Mm -hmm. Is that why you're shaking? Are you not a man? Are you not a man? See, stop shaking, no. Just stand straight and walk bold like the man that you are. In effect, now take this. Take this, take Take it to the hospital. Eh? Later in the night, I'll come and see how you and my mom are doing. You know, go. Okay. 
Ghana. We fear me, Naga, Naga. I no never. Naga, Naga. Good day, sir. I don't know why this life is such a mystery. How do you know that a popular saying that the rich man said to the poor man's son, I wish I had a son like you. Why the poor man's son said to the rich man's son, I wish I had a father like yours. <laughs> Who are you referring to in this contest? Chimobi, of course. Such a handsome, intelligent boy, but has no father. No identity, a bastard. Huh. But his position does not affect him in any way, or does it? Of course it does. Which father in his right senses will give out his daughter's hand to a boy like that? My dear, forget about Okoye's attitude. Not even my own father will behave like him. You are just guessing. I'm not guessing. I'm not. I'm very sure my own father will not behave like Norma's. Can move one. Let's go. Bye bye. Who is there? Can you about? She will be walking around. What are you doing here this later? I, I came to check on you now. I heard what happened to your mother. My mother is fine. Thank you for checking on me. Mm -hmm. eh? uh, please go before Norma will see you here. She will be, but I saw her going out now. So what? What if she decides to come back and check on me? Then I want to go. Come and go home, please. Go to your mother's house. Eh? Ada, thanks for coming. My mother is very fine. She's fine. Thank you, Ada. Mother now. Then our thanks. I'm going. Please. Go. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. I'm going. Bye bye. Good night. I'm going. Ada, go now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ha. Where Madam Oh, you got laughter. Too much of everything is bad though. What are you talking about? The way Norma does things these days. She's always with Chimobi, morning after her night. Haba. Because it's not you. It's now too much, Abi. How do you mean? Hmm. You think I don't know? Hmm. I know everything. Every, every. What are you talking about? I know you admire Chimobi a lot. And you wish you could even take him away from Norma. No, it's a lie. I think I did not see you. I saw you last night. I saw you. I I only went to see how his mother was faring. That's all. There's nobody this small girl here. Eh? I don't know what is wrong with you. I'm your friend. Open up. Tell me. The reason that uh, Ichimobi and I are here tonight is to... I, I don't know if you remember the last time we were here, what, what we were asking for. Because who knew when we were that we were here this week? Give me a say so. But they told us that you went for the village meeting. We decided to wait, Maka, Etobi and Ino. We really need what we are here to ask for. Now, Mama, I raise your humility. I'm not feeling well. I'm not strong anymore. It's due to the hard labor. The, the, the doctor has told me to slow down. But you also know that I don't have any other trade. All we are asking for here is just a, a 
a small piece of land for Shimobi and I to farm on. Instead of paying him to carry some money to farm on his own land, if you give us a piece of land, then we'll be able to farm and we eat from it. We don't have to go to the market all the time buying food stuff. We can at least get yam from our land. Ose, obukodu ugo. Eh, we have something. You can see yam. Oh, my dear, I get Well, thank you. What you are asking for is a very hard thing. When your father, our elder brother, was alive, he kept on insisting that he must not raise a bastard in his house. I never saw reasons for him then. But now, you can understand better. Now, my little advice to me is this. Take him over. Go and look for his father. Maybe he will still accept you back. I believe that they will be having a piece of land for him there. As for here, nothing for him. <clears throat> Can anyone let me look at you? You could put you just uh, I had him. I'm not deaf. Hmm? Uh, in fact, it's high time we stop beating about the bush. Let's say the truth. Sister, I am surprised at you. You know we don't have enough land. Eh? Uncle Ola has only three sons. AGK, four sons. Eh? My father had me with my two younger ones. You know we don't have enough land. Let alone giving out land to strangers. Stranger. I can I can I can I stranger. I can it's me, you, your sister. I can stranger. I can Don't cry. Please. Don't cry. Let's go. Okay? We'll survive. We'll be surviving. Bye. Bye. Can I, can I, can I, you call your sister a stranger Mama, in my own mother's land? If I were you, I would go back to the man who got me pregnant. Oh. I believe they will be having a portion of him of land for him there. You know in our culture, women do not inherit land. Bah. Uncle, remember? There is God and He's watching all of us. There is God and He's watching you people. You're hiding things from me. You're lying to me. No, no, no. Nothing. I'm fine. No, you are not. You're not fine. I said I'm fine. Why are you doing this to me? Chimobi. You're beginning to lie to me. Me, Norma. I don't know, Norma. It's not fair, Will. It's not fair. Well, tell me, what is it? Okay, okay. There's something bothering me. There's something wrong, but I want to keep it to myself. I don't want to discuss it with anybody. Oh, Charu, Charu, Charu. Now I'm anybody. I'm anybody, Okuya. Yeah? This is what I've been saying. It's like in this relationship, I'm the one that has more love. Eh? Look at you, hiding something from me. When we're supposed to be sharing our pain, our sorrow, just the way we share our love and our joy. If you name now, is it fair? It's not fair, is it? No, it's the same thing I've been talking about. It's that same thing that has been bothering me. My mother's people have refused to give us any portion of land. None. And it is seriously disturbing my mother. Oh, yeah. Hi. Honestly, eh? I, I just don't get why some people are so inconsiderate. Why don't they, why don't they want to help your mother? Their sister, their own blood. Oh no, man, oh no. The one that is paining me the most is that my mother has refused to tell me my paternity. Not to me, not to anybody. What kind of thing is that now? So, is she now the Holy Mary, the mother of God that was conceived by the Holy Spirit? It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. I'm very sure that she will at her own time. When is her own time? When? I don't know, but I know she'll tell you. Hmm? Listen, I don't want this to bother you at all. If nobody accepts you the way you are, I do. I don't care where you come from. I don't care who your father is. All I care is about you and the fact that I love you very much. That is all that matters, okay? Hmm? 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 
I've been thinking. I, I want you to go to the city. Yes. You know, deep down within me, I know that the God I worship would establish you in the city. That way, these your uncles won't treat you the way they are, they are treating you. Once you become rich, I can bet you, they will all begin to respect you and life will be different. Mama, if I go to the city, who will I leave you for? Is it me you're thinking about or is it Norma? Mama. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. I need to the important thing I'm going to You know you're my priority, Mama. You are my main priority. Your health condition is not stable. And the people in this village, they hate you, Mama. They hate us. And the only way we can survive and make it is by sticking together. By taking care of each other. Okay, let's say I leave you and go to the village now. If something happens to you, God forbid, I won't forgive myself. I'll just close my eyes and I'll die. Oh, what do you forget, ma'am? Nothing would happen to me. I am strong. I can take care of myself. Look, mom, the dream I have for you, it, it, it's a bigger one. I don't want you to end up wasting here in the village. Pico, eh? Anugum, if I'm going to the city, then I will take you with me. If you can find out some you know I'm not young anymore, eh? And I am not too old not to take care of myself. I am strong and I can take care of myself. Oh na. Inugo. Okay, ma'am. But this is not what we should be discussing right now. Eh. Uh -huh. So what should we be discussing? I think that you're hiding from me and from everyone else. And what is that? Mama, who is my father? Mama, tell me, I need to know. Is he alive? Is he still alive? Where does he live? Where is he? Mama, please tell me now, I need to know. Stop keeping it away from me. Mama. Of interest, yeah. Object of interest, we see that first now. That's no problem. I like a lack of it. You know, look at a music agent. She's here for you. She's in there. She's in there. Wow, wow. I can't wait to see her. I can't really wait to see her. You know, my father has told me so much about her. Oh, I can't really wait. You see, but I'm sure you have seen her. Yeah, of course, yeah. because I've seen her, I've seen her picture. She's quite beautiful in the picture. But you know, I'm no more in the States now. And I'm right here in Nigeria now. And so I want to see my wife. Even though now, I got a daughter. You took your article. Why is she in that woman? Yeah. Let me call my wife first. Oh, you do ya? 
I want you to come and greet Nelson and his people. Hmm? Onye? Mama, I told you. I told you and I told Papa. Oh. I'm not interested in that marriage, Joe. I told you people. Oh, now, shut up! Shut your mouth or I shut it for you with a hot slap. I am not interested in that marriage. Yeah. My friend, go out there and go and greet them, sister. So. I'm not going anywhere. You see, I won't go. You see, you're not going anywhere. All the people waiting in me, see. You better go out there, take an effort. I'm not going anywhere, Mama. In fact, eh, nothing will take me out of this place. I'm not going. No, Ma. Don't let your father hear this. Or you want me to go and call your father? And where? You're not going, Ekwa. You're not going. Can you pause the night? than these people. What was she? She's there. Norma! 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 But you said she's here. She was here some minutes ago. Hey, God, what is all this? This girl will not kill me in this house. Go the head, the anchor. Now listen to me, woman. You and your daughter, you are joking. You better go and look for her, whatever she is, and bring her back to this house so that she can come and greet my in-laws. Like, can't you see she has run out of the house? Eh? No, ma. She has run out of the house now. I have spoken. No. No, ma. Who no? I'm not going to talk to you. No, ma. I gave the loss. I am sorry for taking much of your time. You are object of interest to see me It's just that she went to collect the things from our animals. Collect what? I don't understand you. You just told us a while ago that she was in there. What the fuck is going on? That was what I taught them. Until my wife came to inform me that uh, look at the present situation. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that she's not aware of our coming today? No. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. She's fully aware. Huh? <laughs> but she, you know, but what? What other fucking appointment is more important than today? Tell me. You know, My Lord, please don't be annoyed with me. Huh? You know, the children of nowadays, sometimes they can be silly. Huh? This is bullshit. Fucking bullshit. I can't believe this. Nelson, calm down. Uh, let the patient to face. The patient dog needs to be started for me. Thank you. That's good. 
This is ridiculous. This is fucking uncalled for. How can I sit my fucking ass here for over an hour waiting for her? Man, I can't take this shit. I shouldn't. Don't misunderstand. It's not intentional. Huh? I don't understand. What, what exactly do you want me to understand? What do you want me to understand? Mm. Tell me that this is the handwork of the devil. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Okoye. Okoye. Is it now? Tell me the truth. What is the problem? Is it now? Is it not this Obanje, this mommy water of a, a, a girl called my daughter Loma? I told her that her sister will be coming here today. Huh? But she Loma bullshit. Loma is one important. Daddy, let's go. I can't take this shit anymore. You can understand me. Okay. To whom much is given, much is expected. Truth. Huh? But please, we will go. But Mas, how can I move you? You go. You go. Are you sure they're still there? Maybe they've gone. Hmm. I don't care. I don't care. If they like, let them stay. If they like, let them go. All I know is that they will stay there till thy kingdom come. Because I'm not planning to enter that house till night fall. I'm not entering there. You know, eh, this issue will cause a lot of problems. It will raise a lot of dust. Why are you talking like that? You're talking as if you don't know. I'm sure your father has been collecting money and other gift items from this guy's father through him. And <laughs> he must have given an impression that you're already there. Oh, but wait, is that young man a fool? How can you be giving uh, give I, 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 items to my father? And then you have not even bothered to buy a common phone for the girl in question so that at least you can be talking. How can you be spending money on a girl you have only seen in pictures? A girl you have not even heard her voice for once in your life. In fact, it doesn't make sense to me. It is possible. Ne? It is very, very possible. Look, eh? it's possible because he feels he's based in the US. Hmm. They feel that our girls over here would do anything to marry a foreign based husband. Oh, I'm sure he has not even lost any doubt about this issue. Well, it is a pity because he just met a different girl. Okay? I go where my heart leads. I follow my heartbeat. I, I, I go for love, not wealth. <laughs> See? You are all that I need. Hmm? I don't need anyone else. I know. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> don't don't even try it. No me tem so they've gone. You allowed your daughter to sneak out of this house, knowing fully well that Nelson and his father will be here today. Nani, how can you talk like that? I didn't know she was going to sneak out of the house. That shameless girl has actually brought this level, high level of embarrassment to me because of that bastard. Eh? A boy who has no identity at all, a boy who has no single case man. A boy whose mother caught by sleeping around with men, eh? Because of him, my own daughter, Norma, 
now want to deprive me of being an in-law to, to the nation, who is from a very wealthy and respected family. Oh, you dear. It will not happen in this household at all. At all, it will never happen. I will personally kill her and kill that bastard. Anytime I see him in this family again, I will kill him. You better go and warn the mother. Because anywhere I see, anytime, any other time I see that, that he goat, anywhere around my compound, I will personally kill him. I will shoot him and wait for the consequences. Huh? Hey. No sense. No, ma. No, ma. Fear. Hey. I will shoot him and face the consequences. No sense. Nani. Ah, oh, dear. You're sleeping already. Come to bed now. Oh, dear. I know what you want. You want me to come in there and sleep over this thing so that by tomorrow morning my full anger will have subsided. Huh? But I will not do that. I will wait till she comes home. Do you know what the time is? Are you going to find Ah, hold it. I want to be left alone. Just make sure that all the backyard doors are locked. Do not allow this girl to sneak into this house without my noticing it. I have locked all the doors in this house. This is the only one open. Good. You have done your part very well. You may not go to bed. Or, I mean, if you are feeling sleepy. Huh? For me, I will wait here until she calls home because I know she will not sleep outside the bed. What if she decides to? Woman, go to bed. Tachifu. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Well, I can cuisine. I'm a new idea. Now, hmm? you have to listen to what I tell you. There is nothing in this village. I'm a refer there. 
I need you to go to the city where there are lots of opportunities. Hopefully, one good opportunity will come your way. Then you come back. All these your uncles and relations will, will look up to you. You will not become a part of them. That is what I want for you. Mama, it's not... It's not as if there's anything too special in this village that is keeping me here. It's just you. Yes, Mama, if I leave you here, who will take care of you? no. Look at me here. I single-handedly brought you up in this heart. So someone so near. I am still strong. I will take care of myself. It's not the same thing. You're no longer that young now. You know that. Yeah? Hey man. And your health condition is not stable. It'll be too risky for me to leave you all by yourself. Only in a No man Hey! Shimon! Who did this to you? What happened to you? Who beat you up like this? My father! Your father beat you up like this? Where was your mother when he was beating you? No, you mean your father did this to you? He can't go to the behind. I was still in bed and then he sneaked into the room, locked the door and started flogging me with koboko. Uh, uh, was your mother, wasn't your mother there when he did this to you? It's okay, my love. It's okay. I, I don't want it's to okay. go back to okay, the house. It's okay, my love. No, 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 you will not go back. Papa no more cow. What did you do to deserve this pity? Mm, yes. Mama, I'll bring you a cup of tea. Come, come inside. Come, come, come. Hey, Papa no more cow. Be careful. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Hey! Noma! Noma! What is it, Noma? Yes, bring her up. Okay. You should be ashamed of yourself. Why would you be that girl like that? It's you, Webu. Do you want to kill her? Bring her, my daughter! You're asking me. You know the best thing for you. Uh -huh. The best thing for you now is to do what? Stay out of this matter. Mm. <laughs> Your useless son. My own son? A common bastard of no reputation. Wants to ruin my only daughter. And you want me to just keep quiet and fold my arms and watch it happen? Impossible. Oh, this is what it is all about, okay? Oh, no, i okay? Oh, you are doing as if you don't know before. Huh? Pretender. Shameless fool. Get into that, that, that your cursed heart of yours and bring up my daughter. Quick! You're not, you're not ashamed of yourself. Oh no, no, why bully, bully, bully? You talk like a woman. Like a common woman in the market. Truth! Yes, you could have huh? But is it not better than a woman who spreads her legs to virtually every dick and hurry and raises the generation of bastards? Huh? Oh, you want my daughter to marry a compound bastard who has no father, no identity, no kissman, nothing, nowhere, not one of my life. Go in and bring her out, idiot! Bring her out, idiot! You will think I have your time. Don't do that and wait for my own. Come on, come on! 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 I'm okay. No, no, it's okay. No, no, okay, Mama. Mama, 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 You see what I told you? You see what I told you, but you will not listen. Mama, I 
It's okay now. It's okay. It, Chimobim, it is not okay. It is just not okay. It can only be okay when you go to the city and make money. It will only be okay when you build your own house. It will only be okay when you get us out of this shame of heart. That is when it will be okay. Okay. It's okay, Mama. I've heard you. Stop shouting, okay? I'll go to the city. I will. I'll leave this village. And I promise you, I will make so much money. I will make so much money to wipe away your tears, Mama. I promise you. Please. Huh? Calm down. Stop shouting. It's okay. It's okay. Now, yeah, I've, I've made up my mind to go to the city. So you want to leave me? You want to abandon me here after everything I sacrificed for you? I'm not leaving forever. I'm just changing location temporarily to help us. To make money for us. Money? Am I complaining? Eh? I don't need your money. You are all that I need. I'm tired of saying this to you. I'm tired. I know. But you don't get it, do you? You don't. I need to go so that I can upgrade my life. I need to upgrade your life. I need to make money. I need to go out there and make money. So that when I come back here, your father and the rest of the villagers will place a value on my life. Place a value on me. They will respect me. I need to go to the city so that when I come back with a jeep, a big jeep, your father will give his consent to our union. Eh? Ne. So, how am I sure that if you leave this village, you will not find another woman? And how are you sure that if you leave me here for a very long time, that our love will still be strong? How can you be sure? Our love will always be strong. Always. You've done so much for me and for my mother. You've sacrificed so much for my family. You know, the only thing that can take me away from you is death. Um, time and distance. They cannot even cover up the stamp that you've left in my heart. It's not possible. Where do I start from? Eh, is it the uh, financial sacrifice? Is it your energy, your time that you've put in? Or is it the men, the numerous rich men that you've turned down their proposals just because of me? I'm not that heartless, my baby. Mbang. It's easy for you to say now. But change, they say, is the only constant thing. Who knows? You never can tell. So you don't trust me? It's not as if I don't trust you. It's just that I'm not comfortable with you leaving this village. That's all. I'll be willing to do anything you want just to prove to you that I'll never leave you no matter the situation. Anything? Anything. Oats? Blood covenant? Anything? Anything. <laughs> It is called love. L O V E. Love. Hey, I sense jealousy here. Who's your own? Jealous of who? Norma. Why would I be jealous of a Norma over that bastard? Hey, then mind your own business. Let them be. I'm not after what they do. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is that Chimobi is too handsome for Norma. Oh, Norma herself is also beautiful. Mm. Mm? <laughs> so let them be. Is she more beautiful than I am? In Chimobi's eyes, yes, she is. So put your eyes off their relationship. Oh? Wait, wait, Joe. 
这个比昨天慢慢慢慢慢慢，为什么那么慢？Well, thank you, thank you. I wouldn't want anybody to disgrace me in that household. I don't want. I told him. Nobody is going to disgrace you. Go to the city and stay with uh, Madoka. He is a good person. And I know he will take very good care of you. The same Madoka is the one that told us that his organ has not given his consent for me to come. No, stop making excuses. Oginedo, go to the city and, and, and do something with your life. Oh, no, 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 reasons why he can't go. Eh, yeah, nothing will happen to me. It's okay. Then when the ogre throws me out of the house, I'll now start loitering the street, okay? Uh-huh. What is wrong with that? Are you not a man? Anywhere you find yourself, you should try and survive. Look, I, I was 23 years old when I had you, and my father threw me out. But I survived with you. Wrong or didn't ya? He went to Eva. So, if you go to the city and they throw you out, nah, every, anywhere you find yourself, survivor. Obulu bari yo kwaba. Obulu olomu ilebe. Obulu shika ken. Ibutaba putaba. Ne liye. How fun to be a survivor. Me des na mumu excuse sa na wo kubo. Mama kamya ga wazi. Ka ipele ni ya ipele o. Let me pray for you. It shall be well with you. Amen. Hmm? You will go in peace and come back in peace. Amen. The Lord will guide you. Eh? Amen. You shall conquer. You will find favor in the sight of men. They will help you to grow. And you will grow so big that by the time you come back to this village, you will be the richest and the greatest. Amen. The Lord will be with you. 
Oke, okay, duki ge je nudo na ta nudo. Ona maka ni bo ezigbo nwa. Enugo. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Na kuni. Mama, thank you. Thank you. Enugo. Ki jebe o? Jebe jebe. You'll be okay. I'll be fine. I am a strong woman. Yes, you are. Yes. Whatever you boss, I'm a rapper. You go. He shot at me. Eh? He tried to kill me. Hey, so that gunshot I had was meant for you. Hey, Mama, I would have been a dead man by now. Chupa man, I, I hey. Yes. Hey. Did he hurt you? Yeah, Mama. No, Mama, your father wants to kill my son for me, okay? What can I get? What can I get? Mama, Mama, come, 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 come back here. Mama, come here. That man needs to be cautioned. What are you talking about? You know my mother has hypertension. She will go there now and start shouting. Mm, nothing will happen to Mba, her. Mba, 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 Mba. Oh, no, ma my father will not do anything to her. Half of my time. No, ma'am. Go inside. Go inside. Are you sure she'll be okay? She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Go inside. About the, the thief I caught in my compound today. I want him thief. He should be the one to thank his God because he was fast enough to escape. Eh? I should have gone him down. Eh? Yes. If you shoot my son, you will give birth to his son today. And you will make sure that child gets to the level where my son is today. Let me tell you. If I kill him, nothing will happen. Eh? Who will ask of him? Is it you? If you come, I will kill you. And add it up to him. Listen to me. He's a bastard, though. He's a bastard. Don't you get it? Eh? One thing. Both of you should be careful. Let me tell you. 
let me tell you he's a bastard, yes. But at least I'm his mother. And I know where he's coming from. Manadewa, with that Teleninti, they go out door. If you know a daddy that cannot function. My function Teleninti, I know you. In echo, if you know you only, keep away from my family, yo. This is the last time I will warn you. You think we don't know? Teleninti, man. <laughs> warn him, oh. Never to set his feet in this compound again. Because the next time I see him <laughs> in this compound, I will surely shoot him dead and nothing will happen. Nobody will ask of him. He's a bastard. He has no kiss, man. Not him. <laughs> Look at that. You are hey. What did you say? Finally, Timobi is leaving the village for the city. I saw him at the village garage. He told me he's going to have a general to sleep. Hey, yeah. That would be nice. Let him go to the city to better his life. You don't even get the point. What point? Norma, how is she? Hey, 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 hey. Is she the only one here? You are her rival now. Both of you are going to miss him. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know why you like to talk like this sometimes. Why don't you admit for once that you love him? You think I don't know? I know. I know I really have been. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that one. help you good afternoon um, please I'm looking for my brother who stays at this address your brother yes his name is Madoka oh I see outside now the lady who's outside the girl i went outside okay her, oga, her father is your boss your oga. father she is my oga she owns this house she needs to go to hojo no 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 not just here, other properties. Big man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. 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 Okay.
I'll call you back in 30 minutes, okay? Yes. Okay. All right, bye. Uh, madam, uh, this is that my brother, the one I told you that will come from the village. Um, his name is uh, Chimobi. Good day, ma. But we greeted before. Uh, okay, that's... Uh, yes, ma. How are you? I'm very fine, ma'am. Anyway, I'm a very simple lady. What I hate is crowd. I do not want to see anybody except the two of you in this compound. Did I find anybody else? You both will certainly leave my house. Uh, uh, madam, uh, you know me now. I, I don't do that kind of nonsense. And uh, Chimobi, he's just coming straight from the village. He doesn't know anybody in this city except me. Yes, ma, it, it's true. I uh, don't know anybody in the city. Only my brother, Madoka. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You can go back to your room. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Madu. Mm? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, how can a lady have this kind of money? I mean, <laughs> how? Connections, connections. You see that girl? That my madam. Her father was a one-time inspector general of the Nigerian police force. Madhu, like as I was saying, I don't even know what job I'll start with now because I don't want to idle away my time here. You will not be idle. Mm -hmm. There are many polluting factories and bakeries in this area. Yeah. Once you go there, they will employ you. How can you go? Go no. I don't mind any of them as long as money starts flowing into my pocket as soon as possible. Hey, man, no. Don't worry. Okay, may go. Money will come. Hmm? Once Madame leaves, I will personally take you to one of those places and they will give you a job. Okay. So, uh -huh. how do you know? 
<laughs> has, a, has Mama called since that time? Yeah, the yeah, Chimori. You are no longer your mother's pet. Look, you are now a big boy. A hustler in the jungle. Look, so stop all this, my mother this, my mother that. Biko. Now tell me what is wrong with me speaking to my mother and letting her know that her son arrived safely. And also to find out how she's doing. Your mother is doing well. What do you think, man? She's okay. Huh? Biko. Uh, uh, um, See, I want you to help me wash the cars. Let me go and cut the flowers. So, finish up quickly. Mm, we'll do that now. Mama, so you're still like this? Mama, welcome. Hey, Jesus. Mama, get up, get up, get up. I have to take you to the hospital. Mama, Mama, there won't be need for that. I'll be fine. What do you mean there won't be need for that? Your body temperature is rising so high. You're telling me you'll be fine. Because you ever be here. Mama, believe me. I'll be fine. I just took drugs. I'll be okay. Hey! Are you sure? Yes, Mama, I yeah, am, baby. Hey, read the book, oh. Eh? Mama, get up. Go inside and see. This place is too open. Be near. Get in here. What is it? Hold on. Look at Hey. I don't even come in the joke No, you did No. Oh, no. Um, no. How are you? Uh, what is this girl? No, ma. Who else? She's inside. She's running temperature. Since when? For the past two days. Eh? Since Jim Obi left this village, my daughter has been running temperature. I don't know what that boy has done to my daughter. I've not seen this kind of love. I've not seen this kind of that is by the way. My in-laws will be coming to this house in the next two days. Just go in there and talk to your daughter. Eh? Let it not be like the other day. Uh, Nelson and his father is in here, visited. They left there with anger. And since then, they have refused to pick my calls. Eh? Go and talk to her. But man, can't you see that all the marriage proposals you've been arranging for her have been feeling? Can't you see it? Let's allow her bring in the man that wants to marry her by herself. Ah. So I should then allow her to bring in that useless, hopeless bastard of low reputation I'm into my not, house. I'm not talking huh? about Chi Mobi. I'm not talking about Chi Mobi. Let's allow her daughter bring in her suto. All the marriage plans you've been making for her failed. Can't you learn from your mistakes? Yes. The past effort failed. 
They all failed because that boy was a major distraction. But now that the boy is not in picture now, eh, this one will work. Or don't you think so? Huh? Kainebenanyan. Go in there and talk to her. You are saying Kainebenanyan. You know, Naya. Huh? Do you think it will, it will not work? I didn't say that. No, I think. Mm. Uh. Mm. No. Mm. There is this other young man that wants to marry you. Mm? They said he based in Abuja. Your father's friend, Mazukuru, brought him to your father. Yeah. He saw your picture. I not join you. He's coming in the next two days to ask for your hand in marriage. But I had, he had a lot of money. Eh, tell me, Mama. Why does Papa want to sell me off like a commodity? Why? He keeps showing my pictures to everybody he sees. Or the ma. Eh? Why? Is he the one to find the husband for me? Or am I the one to show him whom I want to marry? I told him. He hasn't been up to two weeks that Nelson and his people left this place and he already uh, has another person for me. Okay, see man. Yeah. Oh, mama, oh, 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 papa, oh, oh, dear. Mm. Your father loves you so much. Eh? You know you're very beautiful. He wants the best for you. He just wants you to be comfortable in your husband's house. Oh, what's Papa does not love me. Leave that thing. Papa does not have my interest at heart. He's not looking out for my interest. He's only trying to fill his pocket with me on what he falls up. Because if he cares about my well-being and about my interest, he will allow me to marry the man I love. Chimobi. Love broke and drink again at Chimobi. Love and walk. Mama. Don't mama me. Akpanam. Your husband people are coming here in the next two days. Better get ready for them. Nelly, I would like to spend this summer in Uganda. If that's what you want, there's no problem. We can start making plans for it. My problem is I don't know your plans and engagements this period. Hmm. I don't think I have any serious program for now. Oh, as as and it's okay, goes bed the party. But, but that's okay. Uh, we can take up nearly after the party. So when does that leave the party? I think um what Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting you, ma'am. What is it? I came back and uh, Maduka said you were looking for me, so I came to find out. Oh, that. Yes, I wanted you to buy me something from the supermarket, but you were not there. Oh, okay. I'm here now, ma'am. Let me go and buy it. That's okay. I've uh, started it. Okay. I'll be in the room if you need me. Yes, so uh, in two days, we'll You like him? Oh, please. I mean, who is that guy and what planet is he from? <laughs> well, the guy is kind of cute, but. But what? Broke? He's more or less my houseboy. Are you serious? Like, are you serious? Are you blind? Can't you see that that guy is naturally endowed? Oh my god. But anybody can make money, Nelly. Any idiot can make money. Any ugly monster can make money. Ha! Huh? Um, you know me now. My pride. Pride. See, we've all got our pride. Let's just pocket it, okay? Look at that guy. I mean, imagine that guy driving out from a posh house. Driving a posh car. In a posh suit. Nelly. I think you're driving something. Oh my god. Mm. Anne. Mm -hmm. You're a genius. You look so blind that you don't see things. Oh god. Ah, you can
No, ma. So this is why you didn't want to go to the hospital? Hmm? Oh, Mama, you think I will not know? What are you talking about? Hey! This is why he ran away from the village to the city. Akuya? Mama? What is it? Stop pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Stop pretending! Ha. I don't know anything, no, Mama. Hey! Chine to me. What? Chine to me. No, my dear. You're pregnant. Ha. Hey! Mama, Mama. No, my dear. Better stop it, oh. Don't stop it. Shut up! Shut up! No, my dear. Shut up! No, my dear. Mama, all I know is that I'm not pregnant, too. I'm not pregnant. You're pregnant? And your father must hear this. Your father must hear this. You know your father will kill you. Nani! Nani! Who knows what you're going to become? Noma is pregnant. Is that again? Noma is pregnant for that bastard. Hey! Hey! Hey, we mother! Hey, we have mother! Hey! Oh! Was that why he ran away? Thinking he has escaped my rot. That was why he ran away from the village. Noma, Dime! Hey! Is that? By the way, where is my daughter, Noma? She's there. Come out for me! Oh, hey, we have a mother. This bastard, oh, huh? He ran away thinking he has escaped my house. This bastard. Hmm. Mm. 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 When did what happen? It's all right. How many months pregnant are you now? Chineke me. Mama? Oh, so after everything I told you, you still went ahead to tell Papa that I'm pregnant. Come on, answer the question and tell him the truth. Stop lying. No, ma, ask again. How many months pregnant are you now? Papa, I am no longer a child. So I should know when I'm pregnant and when I'm not. Papa, draw me, me. I'm not pregnant. Huh? Are you telling me the truth? Yes, Papa. I'm not pregnant. She is lying to you. Mama is lying to you. Hey, for Mama, Nanya, Nick, I'm liar. Nick, I'm a liar. Nanya, you are a liar. Nanya, you are a liar. Mama, you are a Papa, since I'm a liar, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. Papa, please, oh, I am not pregnant. Biko, I'm not pregnant. Anywhere you want to go, me, I'm ready to go. So, you are sure? I'm sure. Then leave her to me. Huh? No, me, ready to go. Leave her, I don't want to do. Where did you go? Mama, Biko, I have no money. Leave her, leave her, leave her. What do you have? What do you have? I don't know what to do. Leave her. Hey! Nothing in order to go. No, no, no. I'm going to kill you and kill that bastard. How far? He's not pregnant. Huh? He only really has malaria and typhoid. Hey, doctor, I hope you're not deceiving me. And why, why would I do that? Hey, okay, thank you. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Mm. Chill as well. Come on, stand up, let's go. Let's go! You know what's my last experience with Charles? I'm happy the way I am. I don't want anything that will cause me heartbreak. Nelly. I know. I mean, I understand. But you're a woman. You need to settle down. You need a man that will make you happy. You need a man that will love and cherish you. You cannot continue like this. You need to settle down someday. So, why must it be that way? 
Why must he be that boy? Nelly, are you blind? Can't you see? There is something about this guy. I mean, if I wasn't engaged, we won't be talking this. I would have taken that guy long ago. I don't, I don't think I'm ready for such games right now. Did you just say games? Wait, wait, wait. Nelly, does this look like a game to you? I mean, you wake up one day and regret this. I mean, you wake up one day and you call me and you tell me you're regretting it. Nelly, if this guy stays up to a month in this town and these other ladies see him and pick him up and touch him up and clean him up. Nelly, what this guy needs is money. Once you're able to give him that money, you have his loyalty and his honesty for life. I don't know why you're doing this, Anne. I mean, you act like you've forgotten about Charles. Do you know what happened? I don't know why you're doing this now. Nelly, can you stop? I mean, can you stop this Charles, 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 Charles thing and move on? Nelly, move on with your life. You are not living. This is not normal. Every time Charles, Charles, move on. Please. You're my friend. I won't deceive you. I want what's best for you. Leave Charles and move on with your life, please. Charles here, yeah, Charles there. Move on. Forget that fool. Is Madame at the bakery that he works. She just came to know where he's staying. What did I tell you about bringing people into my house? Hey, Madam, she's not people. She's his madam. She's his boss at the bakery that she just wanted to know where he's staying in case of emergency. I do not want to see that boy in this house by tomorrow morning. Hey, Madam, please. Hey, Beacon. Go and tell him what I said now. Hey, Madam. madam. Now! Please, I'm very sorry. It will never happen again. Please, ma. If you sack me now, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't know anyone in the city. And I don't want to go back to the village now. Please, ma. But I warned you. I warned you. Don't let anybody into my compound. I told you. I warned you. Then please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The woman needed to know that I'm genuine. She, she says she wants to know where I'm living. And if, if I didn't bring her home, she would have terminated my appointment. Please, ma. Please. I'm sorry. It will never happen again.
if I, I will pay you 60,000 naira. Start working for me. Sweep my house, wash my clothes, wash my cars. Just clean my house into and outside. It just starts now. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Chimobi, I think my madam likes you. Why would you say such a thing? How would a big lady like that like me? A pauper like me? Love is blind. Uh, yeah. Can't you see the handwriting on the wall? She likes you. She better not like me because it will not work. Lelonia, look at this one. Chibobi, you better pray. Hmm? Pray and fast. You better pray that she likes you. Because the mere fact that my mother likes you, you are a millionaire. Not even talk of when she marries you. Besi be Beriko. Bahaliban. What makes you think that me, Chimobi, will accept to marry her? Yes, you will, Chimobi. Because you need money. You, Chimobi, need money more than any person in this world. Yes. If you want to be identified with our people, Chima, if you want our people to respect you, if you want our people to stop treating you like something or someone picked from a gutter or from a nearby bush, you need money. Serious money. I wouldn't be. Yes. Chema, if you don't have money, you know what address, you know what surname, you have no identity. Norma is looking for who to send to untimely grave. What is it again, this woman? Tell me. Norma is not in this house. <laughs> Immediately I went in, she sneaked out of this house. Excuse me, what did I just hear you say? Norma, I'm up to go. She's nowhere to be found. Hey! She's not in this house. It's okay now, listen to me. Eh? Go now and search for her. Every nose and cranes of this village. And sack it. And bring her home right now. My in-law just called me now and said that I'm already on their way to this place. Hey! Huh? That is no time. You must do this now. Hey, come back to my I look for I am here at our usual spot. I've, I've waited for you here since morning. When are you coming back? They want to take me away from you. But I will not let them. And I'm going to wait here until you come back and take me with you.
Obim. Won't call ma'am. I feel the impact of no gimia. And then I beg you all. I miss you. I love you. Not even a thousand suitors can take me away from you. Very handsome. Look, you deserve much more than this low life. I want to make you the man of your dreams. <laughs> Look, you may not know, but I have all it takes to change your life. But all I need from you is faithfulness. Chimobi, would you always be there for me? Would you make me the woman of my dream? Or will you just diss me as soon as your status improves? Because I know a million women will start fighting over you once you start making money. They may not notice you now that you are a nobody, but <laughs> once you are made, they will fight over you. Trust me. Chimobu, tell me, would you always be there for me? Tell me, would you? Today I make a strong promise to you. 
this tree over our head and this stick bear me witness as I make a vow to you that I will never, ever leave you for another woman, no matter what. <laughs> uh, today I also make a strong promise to you, let this tree over our heads and this stick be my witness, that I will never, ever leave you for another man, no matter the circumstance. <laughs> Too much. Please help me, Lord. Please. Please help me. Yeah, tomorrow. Sleep is this? Uh, Madhu. You won't understand at all. What time is it? Um, Chimobi. Um, I think you have to go to the village this morning. What's the problem? Uh, yeah. What's the problem? Calm down now. Wale Omayo. Yeah. Calm down. Are you not a man? Take it easy. Okay. Okay. Yay! Yeah. I'm calm. I'm calm. Okay. So what is the problem? Uh, I received a call this morning from the village. Uh -huh. uh, so they said that uh, your mother had a small attack and was taken to the hospital. No. Uh, just small. No. Uh, she's in the hospital. Oh, Bano. Hey, Chimo. Hey, Chim. My God. I warned her. I warned Mama, but she will not listen. Ma. Oh. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Where are you going to? What kind of stupid question is that now, Madu? But must you pack everything? Eh? Chimomi? Yes, I will pack everything. Because I'm not coming back here. I'm going to stay with Mama no matter what. I will come back here not even for all the wealth in the world. Uh, Chima, at least you, you, you will take your bath now. Uh, have a marker. Have a marker. Not to kill any shower. Chimomi. I told you, I told you never to allow that woman go back to her level again. I told you. Doctor, doctor, I tried my best. She insisted that I should go to the town. She said that I should go to the city and live and that she would survive without me. She's the one that insisted. And you believed that? Doctor, you don't understand. I insisted and insisted, but the woman was giving like her life depended on it. And I had to go. Doctor, doctor, please. Her case is too complex now. Naked. Nobody knows whether she will survive the coma. Dr. Umbani. No. I doubt it. No, doctor, no. I doubt it because from the series of tests we ran on her, it was obvious that her second kidney has been affected also. No, and uh, one, she needs a kidney transplant. Two. She needs to be placed on a constant dialysis until a suitable donor is found and the kidney transplanted. And thirdly, if these things are not done as fast as possible, chances are that she might not survive the coma. If she eventually does, she will not live longer than three months. Doctor, take my kidney. Take my kidney. Just. Test me and take one of my kidneys and put for her. Anything it takes. Doctor, please. Kidney transplant costs a lot of money. Besides, it is not done in a local village hospital. It is done in a modern hospital with ultra modern facilities. How much? How much? Tell me. Nobody knows how many times she has to go through dialysis. But the kidney transplant alone will cost nothing less than three to four million naira. But I told you, she doesn't need heart level anymore. I told you. Mom. 
Mama Mites. It's me, the movie. Yeah. Papa. Papa. Because Baba, because Baba, because yeah. Baba, because. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Your mother will be fine. Okay, she'll be fine. You're not sure. I'm not sure. Yes, I. I, I am. I'm sure. Yeah. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Is there no way you can waste this money? Eh? How can I raise three million naira? How? Maybe you can meet your mother's brothers. Your uncles, they can sell one or two pieces of land and then rest the money for her. Immediately I left the doctor's office, I rushed to see them. And instead of them to help, they were busy worsening the case by reminding me of my mother's plight. It's okay. Don't mind them. Eh? God will send help soon. You know, God? He better send help. God should better send help. Because if my mother dies, I will die with her. I swear I will. No, no, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Nobody will die. Please go back with Kebu. I cannot live one minute without my mother. Oh, okay. Is, it, is there nobody in the city that you can run to for help? Which city? The one I went to a few days ago. Uh -huh. See, I, I'm just worried and I'm, I'm just looking for a way to help. There's somebody. But I can't go to her for help. I can't. What do you mean by that? Your mother needs to leave. And you have someone in the city that can help you. And you're saying you don't want to go. Why? Because of you. Huh? More. Yes. Hey. How? I don't understand. to go now, eh? We've been here since morning. At least go home. You have your bath, eat, change your clothes. Then let's go. Biko, 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 let's go. I want to stay with my mother. Mm. Mm. You don't want to stay with me, Okuya. You don't love me anymore, Okuya. I never said that. Eh, so let's go now. Eh? See, you staying here will not change anything. No. It will not add or subtract to your mother's condition. So why don't we just go home so that you can have your bath, change your clothes, eat and have energy. Then rest small. You will now come back here again and stay with her. You know, go. Thank you. 
Hey, madam. I haven't seen Chimobi since I got back. Uh, madam, Chimobi is in hot soup. Oh. Hot soup. Hot soup? Uh, he, he, his mother is very sick. In fact, as I'm talking to you now, the woman is in a coma. And they, don't, they need to give her a kidney transplant. And they need over 4 million naira for that. Oh my god. Uh, in fact. <laughs> Madu. Yeah? You, uh, you brought them to the village. Yes, now. You don't like that. <laughs> no, no. It's not, it's not that I don't like it. It's, uh, it's just that I wasn't expecting to see you people. Yeah. Well, Madu told me everything. And you don't expect me to sit down and watch your life depreciate when I can actually help. I have come to help. Who is she? Uh, oh. Um. Ne, no, ma. This is Nelly, my friend. Uh, Nelly, uh, this is Norma, my sister. Hi. Um, Chimobi, we have to go to the hospital right now. I have to get your mother to Abuja, put her in a very good hospital, and then we'll wait for our documents to be ready, and then we'll fly her to India for her transplant. Come on, we have to go. There's no time. I'm coming. Let me, what, what, let me bring... Ah, oh, Chimobi, forget those rags. Come on, we'll get new clothes in Abuja. Let's go. No, no. Come on, let's go. There's no time, okay? Yes. Come, come, come. Let's go. Come on. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>
Why have you forsaken me? Why? Did I not try? Did I not try enough for you? How could you have forgotten so soon all I went through because of you? How I suffered because of you. The sacrifices I made for you and your mother. <sighs> Let heavens be my witness. <sighs> Let them judge us. Let them touch us. She will be and his mother will be here any minute. <laughs> Are they done in India already? Yes, they left yesterday. In fact, we are the airport here already. Taxi is bringing them home. That's Taxi nice. <laughs> God, it's been so long, six long months. I can't wait to see him. No wonder you're smiling. <laughs> ah, I will be forever grateful to you, my friend. It was your idea in the first place, and today I'm so so happy. <laughs> so when I was telling you, was here. Oh, oh, my world. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me back my life. May God bless you. Oh, please, get up, get up. May God bless you. Get up, you don't have to kneel for me. I'm glad you're fine. I'm so glad you know you're this cute. Oh, come here, give me a hug. Come on. Come here. It's okay. Uh -huh. I didn't bite, oh. <laughs> Sorry, oh. If you didn't bite, I'll give you the boy. <laughs> oh, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Well, tomorrow I have a big surprise for you. <laughs> Wait, you mean we're not done yet? Baby. I ain't done nothing yet. You know I like surprises. I have a big one for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what this big surprise of yours is. <laughs> Jimmy, thank you, God. Thank you for giving my son this lovely lady. <laughs> Mama, and thank you for giving birth to this lovely boy. Hey! I have some son. Okay, stop. Seriously, both of you stop. <laughs> Let me steal some of your chicken. No! Eat no, mama's food. No, no, chicken is the best. That is how he cheats me all the time. <laughs> Mommy's boy. <laughs> now I'm now I'm Nelly's boy. Oh no, 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 Yes, so those uh, documents and the bank booklets I was sending to you while you were in India were actually for both the contract and the new company. Wait, you got a federal government contract in my name? <laughs> and I'm already executing it on your behalf. It's actually over a billion naira. What? Yes, baby. And the only thing left for me to do now is take you to your new office where you meet your general manager and your auditor general. They will let you know how far the project has gone. <laughs> Nelly, you're, you're kidding me, right? I'm not, baby. I told you. You deserve much more. Uh, I met with your site manager today and he said your company has already been registered and is also already on a federal government project. <laughs> so, what you're trying to say is that I'm now a contractor. 
a big time contractor, baby. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> the house is beautiful. Oh, give me. Hey! <laughs> Mama, I'm glad you like it. I like it, though. Nick, everywhere. I like it. Nice, my friend. I'm for me, I'm for me. I'm for me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Give us a few minutes. We have something to discuss. Okay, so what do you know? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Mama. Shakara Bobo. Let me go outside and look around some more. If I can't tell them. Now, first things first. I think you need to start building. I saw uh, Mazianya and he said um, he can sell some plots of his land to us. Once you pay, then you start building a big, beautiful, <laughs> massive house. I'm not ready to go to the village, Mama. Oh, uh, what are, um, why? You have to go to the village. You need to go to the village so that they can see that you have made it. You have become a big man. That way, they will start identifying with you. Who do you think would follow you to go and bed a uh, dowry when Nelly proposes to you? You're talking as if you don't know I'm, as, uh, I'm in a fix right now. In a, what kind of fix? I want to... Why would you ask me such a question? Oh, is it a normal? Yeah. That one is not a problem now. Have you forgotten that Norma's father said that you cannot marry her? That he will kill you, Ilosogo. Nah, we don't need a normal enemy. No, 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 Mama Mbakwa. I will not be a party to that. I will not. Eh. Yeah. Yes, okay, Chalo. So now you want to disappoint this nice girl that has been there for you. A girl that saved my life. She gave me back my life. Oh. Turned you into a big man. Eh? Got uh, a contract for you from the government. Now you want to disappoint her. Mama, the same way Noma suffered for us. Noma suffered for us. Have you forgotten so soon? Noma sacrificed for us. Forgive me for the sacrifice of what that Noma did. What are we talking about? Eh? Be short. There's no point saying anything. I, I don't even want to think about it because I am sure she is married. I mean, she had a lot of suitors coming her way. Some came by car, some on their bikes. Mandi Joko Webia. I'm sure she's long settled down by now. Mbam, no way, Mama. No more will marry only me. Akoko, in our Akoko, right from when you were a child, no more will marry only you. Nah, it is not possible. I'm sure by now, no more has her own family. So why don't you move on? Mama, is going with her. Okay. Is no more can She will wait for me now. She will wait. No, let me check in. I'm going to need more kids to jilong with She will wait for you. What should I do? I'm going to lock the door. Na, you come on. You need to go to bed. Eh? You've been here all this while. I'm a wife and I can't. Piko, chie chiko. Eh? Come and go to bed, please. Mama, the problem is that you do not understand my plight. You don't understand the situation I'm in right now. I understand. Eh? I'm your mother. Oko mo amoi. Eh? Na mo menya. Don't worry. God will see you through. He has always seen us through. Hmm? Tomorrow is another day. And it will take care of itself. You know what?
He's not building a house. <laughs> they said he is now a millionaire since he came back from Obodo Ibo. Mm -hmm. This life, eh, is something else. My sister, everybody in this village is now running around Okiro. Mama Chimobi, even the uncles and the brothers that abandoned them then, is now showing a lot of concern. <laughs> because she now drives a big jeep. She can drive now. She has a driver. She has a driver now. Are you not in this village? Yeah. Oh, that woman has really suffered. Ah. Who doesn't know her story in this village? Hey. Huh. My major concern is Norma. That girl has rejected a lot of suitors, all in the name of waiting for Chinwebi. I pray he marries her. Hmm. That one is your concern. Me, I'm happy. That God has finally remembered the king. Let that marry her. That's my own. Because it's not easy. This one. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Uncle. I don't know why, Norma. Nani, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Adana. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. What about our son, Chimobi? Chimobi, yeah. He's in Abuja. Hey, um, and I learned you sleep in a hotel at a uh, where each time you come back. Nanny, as you put it, true. I fuck with one. It's true. That 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 house belongs to your family, and nobody is pushing you and your son away from that house. It's better you take a, a room there uh, than wasting money unnecessary in the hotel. It's not good, Ada. It's okay, Nanny. I feel comfortable staying in the hotel. And so, what do Well, if you say so. Mm. Okay, uh, if you get back to Abuja, uh, tell our son, Chim, will be that. Uh, just tell him to make time to visit you. But I have a very crucial uh, matter to discuss with him. Huh? Yeah, so, what do I will let him know. I was already on my way. Hey, uh, okay, let me be my, on my way too. I really thank God for the work. The work is going on. Okay. Uh, ah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Mama. No. <laughs> hey. Now, why you put some money? Eh? I will be some money in the village. You're looking well. Hey, hey Mama. How are you? <laughs> Mama, I'm fine. No, I am fine. Uh, but it's just I've not 
since Mobi, since he came back from Obudu Ibo. Eh, hey, Mama, I, I'm just wondering why he hasn't taken out small time to come and see me. Eh, hey, or is he fair? Nem, or man. Please forgive him. It's just that Chimobi is a very busy man. He sits with the president and ministers and I make business. Even when he's with them and you call him, oh, when you fall on your president, I'm telling you. He's not a big man, no. He is, oh. Yeah, yeah. He is. But, Mama, is he so busy that he cannot at least leave that president small and talk to me? How come I'm normal? Normal, Mama. If you could be joking. But let me tell you the truth because I wouldn't want to lie to you. You got to go keep it in on it. Chimobi doesn't even think of you anymore. Where is Yoko? All the two busy. Contract ever and ever. Oh, when Kefana or lifting oil. Yeah. I got to up on me. I run man, man, business and I make a new co. You got to go one name. So be cooking by a lot. Hey, I'm a wrong one. Come on, one night. Chimobi should be the one telling you. Man, I can wily. If you go, Chimobi is about to uh, ensure Chimobi is married. Oh, no, go on. I'm about to release you about. And then, Mommy, if you. Mama, what did you say? Hey, because you are mapping now. Ask one kanga. Mama, what did you say? Because you are mapping now. I said I, I, I shouldn't be the one to tell you. Man, I can't just leave you. Hi, hey, one driver, where is that driver? Chimobi, we promised not to leave each other, no matter the circumstances. I sacrificed everything. Chimobi, I went through hell. I went through fire just because of this love. I sacrificed everything. The only thing I did not sacrifice was my life. But now, you have taken away that life from me. You have killed me. Jimobi, you have killed me.
It's good that I try to send me to save her life. You would have left her there to die. Makagini. Makagini. Who are you? Huh? Nah, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't mind my husband. No. Marry! No, no, no. She would not. Huh? And all the men that came to seek her hand in marriage, huh? you know what she did? She ended up disgracing herself and not me. Why? Because she's waiting for that uh, good for nothing bastard of no reputation. Now the boy has made money in the city and he has abandoned her to rot here. Nonsense. Hey, could her in a kubiko. Stop saying that. Stop saying it. If anything has happened to her, this is what you'll be saying. Akwea? Make sure you give up. What else do you expect me to say? Kill your uncle. Nah, no, man. Where is your lover boy? Oh, look at the woman. Where is the boy? Where is he? Nonsense. You are crying! Huh? <laughs> Stop saying that to her, please! Stop saying that to her! Crying is not the answer! Is it the answer? Why is your lover born? And you are crying? It's okay, business. This is just the beginning, no? You have not started crying. No, thank you, oh. God bless you. Oh, my God. No, no, no. No, no. If a child says his mother will not sleep, you need to I said, what did you tell her? I did not tell her anything. You're lying to me? Huh? You're lying to me? What did you tell her? Uh, um, wait, let me remember. What did I tell Okay. Uh, now, I, I told her that you're married. What? You did what? I, I, I told her you're married so she would leave you to concentrate on your new life. Your new girl, your new home and your new job. And why is that in Jordan here? Do you know the consequences of what you have done? Do you? You lied to an innocent girl because of money. Who told you have a newfound love? Who told you? Who? She lobby. What's going on? Eh? What's going on here? I don't know. I don't, this is not Chimobi. This is not my son. This here is a monster. You're trying me. Honey, what is it? Why is she shouting at Mama? Mama? Eh? What's happening? Amy. Chimo! Amy, I don't want to be left alone. Mm. I have to tell you something. Leave him more. Because of Mama, you're, you're harassing me. Eh, I want to go back there, so I will, I'll be suffering. You want to beat me up? Nonsense. Go maybe see everything. Set to go.
What is the problem? I'm fine. No, you're not. You're not. Please talk to me. What's going on? Nothing. How can you say nothing? Okay, why did you shout at your mother? Look, it's just a, it's just a minor family misunderstanding. Nothing more. Family misunderstanding? <sighs> Baby, what am I to you? Am I no family to you? Am I a stranger to you now? I never said that. So why are you keeping this away from me? Talk to me, baby. Talk to me. Wait, there's nothing to talk about, okay? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just trust me. suddenly changed. <laughs> it seems he doesn't want to be with me anymore. Every little thing I do now irritates him. He just flips at me over every little issue. Why is this happening now? <laughs> you know I never wanted to give my heart to any man. And after what happened to me with Charles, And you lured me into this. Now I'm in love with him and the whole thing is affecting me seriously. It is. Are you sure he's not seeing somebody yeah. else? He's not. Are you sure? Yes. I have my eyes on him. Damn you. All his staff are my people. Yeah. I planted them there to monitor his every move. His cooks, his drivers, his security man, they are all my people. I mean, come on now. <laughs> he didn't expect me to play loose with him. Not after my experience with Charles. No. God. Why the change? I mean, why is he behaving like this now? I don't know. Seems more like a spiritual problem to me. Hmm? Spiritual? Sort of. That's serious. Are you serious? Babe. I'm listening. Baby, please. If there's any way I've offended you, forgive me. I can't continue like this. I mean, I'm human and we make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I've really come to love you. So much, so much. Like never before. I've built my world around you and... I don't think I can ever live without you. I can't. If it 
something you don't like about me, just say it. Just say it and I'll change. Please. Hey, please. It's okay. I'm not angry anymore. Are you sure? Yeah. Then kiss me. Make love to me. With all pleasure. will not change anything. That man doesn't watch your tears at all. Wipe those tears and let's go to bed. Mama, I love him. I love him so much. And I don't think I'll ever live without him, Mama. You can live without him. I see, I see. You can live without him. It's just a matter of time. Time, they say, is the greatest healer. With time, you forget about him and you move on with your life. No, Mama, I don't think it will be possible. It's possible. It's not possible, Mama. It's not possible. Nagira, it's not possible. possible. Because you can't, let's go inside. Let's go. Mama, I don't want to go to bed yet. I want to stay here. Bini, 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 let's go inside. You don't want to sit here. It's okay. You will forget about him soon and move on with your life. He doesn't want your tears. Yes? Uh, who are they for? Uh, please, we are looking for Chimobi's house. I hope uh, this is his house. Yes, Naya. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we are his brothers. Yes. Just tell him that uh, his uncles are here to see him. Uh, okay, I'm coming. Uh, uh, please, uh, tell him is his uncle, Ekene, uh, uh, and uh, his mother's uncle, uh, Ichendo. <laughs> How this old man? Don't be waiting for tell me, no, no, no. Now I won't repeat that again. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, you say no, now come inside. Uh, also, no, no carry anything inside this bag. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> only my small for and the, my small bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, our daughter. The reason why we are here is to address an issue. Uh, something came up recently. Yes. Mm. And what is this issue that came up? About uh, Chimobi's uh, fatality. How? Why, what, what are you talking about? Uh, please, sister. Tell us the truth. Who is the father of uh, Chimobi? I mean, why are we talking about this? What is the reason for this? 
the reason is that your cousin, your mother's elder brother's son, Obiajo, came to our place with some of his kinsmen, claiming that uh, he is a uh, Chimobi's father. That they have come to perform the cleansing rituals so that they will have him back. Are there many men? What? What are you talking about? Sister. Uh, is it true? Mama. Please, sister. Tell us the truth. Who is Chimobi's father? Inky baby. What? Inky, do you know you're a very beautiful girl? Eh? Mm -hmm. How come you're just noticing it now? I've been staying in my maternal home for the past two weeks and you're just noticing it. See, you're just the both of us alone. Let's go inside and have fun. Let's do it. Go inside and do it. Are you out of your mind? Huh? What is wrong with you? You want us to go inside and commit Ibene? Yes, now. You don't know it's a taboo for me and you to have an affair. Which taboo? <laughs> Nobody will know now. Nah. It's just both of us. Obi, take your time, oh. Take your time. I am not interested now. Get out. Get out of the room. You must do this thing, oh. Obi. You must do it, and today. I am only you, oh. I am only you, Obi. Stay from me. Nikki, Nikki, now. You must oh, do this. Obi. <laughs> okay. Grandmother, what you did to me. I will tell her, let her come back. I said, I'm very sorry. It was the handwork of the devil. I don't know what came over me. Please. So, so, so when I was telling you to leave me alone, why didn't you leave me alone? Why? Okay. Please. Okay. I'll stop crying now, okay? Stop crying. Mama will soon come. Okay? Let her come back. I will tell her for you. You will tell her? Yes. Oh. So you want them to stone me to death, Abby? You want them to kill me? Okay. You can go ahead. Go ahead and tell her. Is it not dead? I will just die now. So, so, so who is talking about that here? Who, who is talking about that here? You don't know that if you tell anyone what I did to you. It's a taboo. And the consequence is that the person involved will be taken to the market square and stoned to death. Hey! Oh, yes. Me, oh, yes. yes. Ask anybody. It's a taboo for close relations to have sex in our village. Don't you know? The person will be stoned to death because the person is assumed to be an evil child. So, 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 so why you know it's, it's a taboo? Why, why, did you, why did you stop doing it? That is why I told you that it was the devil's handwork. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Please, forgive me now. I'm yes, sorry now. Yes. Let me tell you, I've not seen my menstruation for the past two months. It's like I'm pregnant though. Is this a kind of joke? Okay, this is not something to joke about, okay? Who is joking with you here? And I'm telling you I'm pregnant and you, you, you're you calling it a joke. Hey, hey. I'm not joking, I'm pregnant. Hey, hey, Giro. What is it? We are finished. Giro. We are dead. Why are you talking like that? Is this how we end up our lives? Why are you talking like that? Eh? Daddy, you are doing it. I told you. I told you. Kiro. See, don't you know that if this pregnancy shows up now and you tell people that I, your cousin, is, is responsible for it, don't you know that the both of us will be taken to the village square and stoned to death? Don't you know? It's a taboo for a cousin to impregnate his cousin. See, 
the best thing for we to do now is to keep this pregnancy secret. If not, the both of us will be taken to the village square and stoned to death. Don't you know? So who would I tell that I'm going to be pregnant? What's call me? Is it every question that you answer? See, the only thing we'll do now is to keep this thing secret between the both of us and not allow anyone to hear it. Or do you want to die? God forbid. Fine. Then since you don't want to die, then let's keep this secret between the both of us, okay? Hey! You want to kill her? Get out of my way. Let me kill her. Let me kill her, Ndokako. This girl is so hard-hearted. Can you imagine? Since morning, I've been asking her to tell me who got her pregnant. Wait for me. But she wouldn't tell me. Eh? I want me to clap for her. I will kill, I will kill her today. Tell your father who got you pregnant. Eh? He has been beating you since you came back. Tell him who got you pregnant so he will stop beating you. See? You soon deliver, you soon put to bed. And what? I don't want this to happen to this baby. Put what to bed? Megan. Eh? Ow! Papa! 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 It's okay, man. it's okay. Over my dead body will she put to bed in this house. Uh. Advise her to take cause to that man who got her pregnant. So that we will force that man to marry her. That will be the, best, the only option. Or oh, this house will not sustain the good of us. I will talk about him in my bag. It hasn't got it. My mind has gotten to it. It has. Now, Undo. I can eh? get out of my house. Uh, or else I will get you arrested we are, we are, and jailed. Uh, Before the count of we are living. Five. One, we are living. You're still sitting down. Two, uh, uh, three. Don't 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 mind, don't mind. Where are you going? We are leaving your house. Don't forget. Don't forget. You're bad. bad. You're bad. Uh, uh, let me tell you. Get out of my house. No, mommy. Mama. Look, I understand how you feel about my uncle and my brother. But become one. Forgive them. Forgive them so that you can get the most important thing that you need in life. Which is? Identity. Identity. Look at them. They are not ready to accept you as one of theirs. Eh? 
Let bygones be bygones so that we can move on. You will have people to call your own kinsmen. Umunai, anything that happens, you know where to go to. You know where you belong. Mama, look, I understand what you're trying to say. But what stops me from going with my own real kinsmen? My father's people. It is a taboo. Mama, they said they are ready to perform the cleansing rituals. I'd rather stick with my own people than your own people that left you to the point of death, abandoned you. And now they surface from nowhere because, because God has smiled on us. Nah. Look, Mama, what I'm trying... Mama, this is my decision on this issue. And it is final. Missing me. We were together last night. Yeah, like that's ever enough. <laughs> anyway, for today, I want to take your baby out to lunch. And that's all you want? Yes, that's all I want. Mm, okay, break time, lunch time. Lunch time, yay! <laughs> that's my baby. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right, Where are we going? Mm, that would be easy. Ah. <laughs> hey. How's it going? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Cool. My people are getting worried. I told you about my last experience with my ex. Hey, when are you coming to see my people? I mean, when are we going to make this thing official? Honey, did I say something? D did I say something wrong? No, no. So why are you not happy? Look, it's it's not I'm, it's not that I'm not happy per se. It's just it's just that I'm thinking. I'm I'm, I'm thinking <sighs> this is not the time, and um, maybe you're being too fast, too forward. I'm not, babe. I mean, we've been dating for over nine months now. Besides, my people are worried. They wouldn't want me to go through what I did with my ex. It's okay. I, um... It's alright. Let's eat, okay? Let's not, uh, this is not the time to discuss this. We'll talk about it later. But, I'll be the one to bring it up. Not you, okay? Baby, I'm sorry. It's not like I don't trust you or that I feel insecure with you. It's just... I want to be with you all the time. I want to be called your wife. <laughs> Let's eat. Oh, my God. 
this room. Okay. Problem, honey. Talk to me. I, I lied to you. <sighs> About what? About that girl you saw when you came to my place in the village. What about her? She's not my sister. Who is she then? She... She's the girl I love. My soulmate. What's the meaning of this madness? I have to tell you the truth right now because we can't build this thing on a lie if we do it will it will fail you and it will fail me in the end and what is the truth the truth the truth is i love this girl and she loves me too. We, we made a promise. We made a promise to each other not to leave each other no matter what. Look, look, I never knew I was going to see you again. I never planned to see you again. But you came looking for me in the village. You gave me hope. You gave me a reason to live. But now, my past is haunting me. My conscience pricks me. I feel like I've betrayed this girl. I wish I could. Look, I can give you back everything, everything you ever gave me. As long as you give me peace of mind, because that's the only thing that is important to me right now. Baby, I've come to love you too. I've come to love you too, so much. But I can't stay with you, because I won't be happy. Can't you see? I won't forgive myself. You won't be happy. We won't be happy in this marriage. Why would you want to stay with a man whose body and soul belongs to another woman? 
Go! Why would you want to stay with a man who no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you can never make him happy? Go! Go, boss! Go! Leave my house! Just get out! It's okay. Stop crying. You've been crying too much. It's okay. <laughs> Why is this happening to me, Anne? Why? Can't I just have the man I love? <laughs> Why is this happening? They always have to wait until I've invested my time, my money, my everything before they leave. Why? What kind of fate is this? <laughs> I don't know why this is happening. I, I really don't know. But I know every disappointment is a blessing in disguise. And I know faith has so much in stock for you. Please, just go. I'm going to strip him of everything I gave him. Everything! Is that necessary? What do you mean? I mean, Chimobi is a good guy. You went to him. He didn't come to you. I was the one who pushed you, I know. Fine. But I mean, okay, look at it this way. You were meant to save his mother's life and change his destiny. <laughs> so, what did I gain by doing all that? You saved a life. I mean, you put a smile on somebody's face. You are a world changer. You changed his world. <laughs> Why is somebody not trying to put a smile on my own face? <laughs> look at me. Someone will put a smile on your face soon. I know that because you deserve it. Believe me, Kay. <laughs> I would have loved to just reduce him to the papa that he was before I picked him up. <laughs> Let him feel what I'm feeling now. Does he deserve that? Chimobi is a sincere guy. At least he told you things the way they are. Yes. He's not a gold digger. He didn't break your heart. He's just a product of destiny. Please, just take it easy. Please. Stop, stop, Nelly, stop, Nelly, stop. I want you to be here. I want you to be here. Stop. Stop. Stop it. I want you to be here. Why? After all I told you, after what we talked about, why? Mama, because my heart, my soul, my body belong to another. I'm going back to my true love. <sighs> Have you thought about the consequences of your action? What is going to happen after everything? What will happen? What? Look, I'll call Nelly and I'll personally hand over everything back to her. Her company documents, her house keys, her car keys, every single thing. And what about the house in the village? <laughs> if she wants that one, I'll give it back to her too. Hey. I mean, what, what will it profit me to have all those things, all the good things of life, and then I'll have no joy, no happiness, no peace of mind? No, no. Doesn't make any sense. Noma is the source of my true joy. What about her father? Mama, the same way that you cannot stop me from marrying the one that I want to marry, that's the same way that neither her father nor anyone else can stop her from marrying who she wants to marry. Me. What makes you think Noma would be there waiting for you? After all that I told her. <laughs> no. She won't. She'll wait for me. And what makes you too sure of yourself? I am. She belongs to me. And I belong to her. Wait. 
Our elders cannot come from nowhere and start to read from here they have not sown. Oh. From beginning of the pregnancy till when the baby was born, they were nowhere. If what? Even during the raising of the baby, they were not found. <laughs> so how could they now come from nowhere and start to lay claim to the boy? Are they me? And you got half of me now, and maybe so many. Oh no, what? And I'm here, He has no right over that boy because he did not pay the bride price of the mother. He did not even perform the cleansing rituals that would have qualified him to have the boy. Oh. So how can he just come and start laying claim over the boy? In fact, he's just a joker. She will be our son. Nobody will take him away from us. Nobody. And I'm even the yeah. He's going to no place. I, I mean it. Uh, but he changed. There's a problem. Which was the problem? See, the boy himself refused to identify with us. So what are we going to do? Are we going to force him to identify with us? Or what do we do? That's my problem. Just forget about those displays of this. You see, uh, last time you and I visited this place in the city, the little boy was trying to, to express his anger. But you know what happened? He threatened to lock us up with police. Yeah, eh? he, he, he even chased us out of his house. Remember that he's still a small kid. Eh? Okay. <laughs> so he's going to no place. He belongs to us. That's it. Eh? What? Is it not What? I can see the Amen. Amen. Are you not going to work today? Which work? Okay, Mommy, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the appropriate time to go back to Nelly, thank her for all she has done for us, and give everything back to her. Don't tell me that kind of story. So just get ready because we're going to leave this house and leave everything for her. I'm going back to the woman I love. Can do a channel or story, story, story. You're going back to where? Come and carry me to the village. Love on say now. Don't go, don't go, okay? Just stay. Stay here. Oh. Let the owner of the house come and push you out by herself. Pear, she can't do anything. I'm not go member. Don't even say that kind of rubbish. Can't you? Instead of you to go to Nelly. Hey guy, your nya can walk and see your wine. And then you people will start planning for your wedding. And you will move way on. In order to not call you. Well, Aliban. If you love her so much, then go and marry her yourself. I will marry her for you. I will marry her and I will join you and you will get her pregnant. Nelly. Nelly, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for all the pains that I've caused you. It wasn't intentional. Believe me, it wasn't. I'm so sorry. I, I never meant to hurt you. Never. Believe me. I was in a tight fix and everything I did, I did for you. Believe it or not, everything I did, I did for you. It was better I told you the truth. Rather than lie to you and you find out from somewhere else later on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Nelly. Please, please forgive me. Please. Please, Nelly. I'm so, so sorry. I appreciate everything you did for my mother and I. Everything you've done for us. And I'll be forever indebted to you. I'm here to return everything, everything, the cars, the house, the company, everything, as long as it will make you happy. No. I'm sorry. No. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just... Oh, you love, okay? 
I love you and I'll always love you. I will. You can have everything. Just take everything. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Question is that? Well, you know, we lost some contacts, and I've been in the UK all this while. I've been in jail. I just came back to Nigeria two weeks ago, and I asked after you, and they said you made fire tree. <laughs> well, I hope you are not just trying to put up a show with all this. No, 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 no. Let's just go inside, have some drinks, eat, then we we'll talk more. I've been praying for God for a day like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. How could you, Charles? How could you do this to me after everything I did for you? You told me you were only going to the UK to upgrade your skills, only for you to get there, not even a phone call. You just made me a laughing stock before my family and my friends. Baby, believe me. It wasn't my fault. I love you and I will always do. Baby, you know, I can never plan of leaving you. It was the fault of the UK police. What about them? You know, they had my picture. Someone gave them an information that was coming in. So when I stopped my foot on the airport, I was apprehended. I was stripped from everything I was having, straight to the chair. Why would they do a thing like that? Um, apparently we had some issues, and I thought everything has been settled. But when I came into the airport, I was caught. But thank God, I finished serving my three years jail time, and I'm a free man. Oh my God. So you mean you were still thinking about me all those years? For real. Every morning I woke up in the jail. I just made a certain prayer. I said, Father Lord, I commit my pretty damsel Nelly into your hands. Keep her away from men and deceivers. You know? So to cut the long story short, when I met it outside, I looked into your fingers and I wasn't seeing any ring. And I thank God. But my prayers has been answered. So what makes you think I'm not into any relationship now? Well, I'm here right now. I'm the rightful owner. Every other person was a thief. So when once the rightful owner is here, every thief goes hiding. Charles. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Wow. I skipped my memory. When are we getting married? Hmm? So fast? Yeah, you don't know what it means. All these three whole years without you. It takes only God for someone to survive. No hug, no kisses, no cuddling, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing. <laughs> um, I'm confused here. Okay. Baba, I am not lying. I'm not lying. She told me to take everything and leave nothing for her. Is it? I'm serious. This girl is an angel. Oh, angel. Gabriel called Gabriela. Hey! Wow, 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 wow. I mean, I couldn't even believe my ears when she said it to me. She said, Chima. 
Take everything. Take everything. Leave nothing for me. Leave nothing. <laughs> hey! Nah, I'm going to go to the To you be all times of honor. Now forget. Now you are free to marry your mom. Um, about that. Well, I'm actually thinking in a in a different direction. Direction what? Give me that one. Okay, check this. How much does this girl love me? Or how could she love me so much that she sacrificed everything for me? Everything, including her happiness. Easy. It's unbelievable. Uh -huh. So, okay, features. Are you not the one that told me that you and Norma are meant for each other? Obi Guam. Mama. The reason I brought you out here is to have a one-on-one -on -one with you before going to see Uncle Wendy. Okay. Um, I'm sorry about what happened the other day. I'm sorry about the way I overreacted. I know I overreacted, but it's because of uh, the anger and depression from all that I've been through. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> no, my son, you don't have to do that. Eh? You don't have to apologize to us. We are the one that should apologize to you. Huh? In fact, we really treated you and your mother bad. You know? So I want you to find a place in your heart and forgive us. Um, whatever we did was in ignorance. Uh, one more thing. I, I want you to know that this is your rightful home. So you are welcome home, my son. It is well. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, you get to marry though. Oh, congratulations <laughs> in advance. Yeah, I want you to go to Who was coming? I love you. I will go. No, I don't have to handle my brother. Once again, you are welcome, my in-laws. Thank you. You see, I am very happy today. This is because what was destined to be has finally come to be. <laughs> After all trials and oppositions, my daughter, my beloved daughter, Nemoma, has now decided to marry Nelson. Adam? Hey, Adam. Adam, do the care. Nine, please. Mm -hmm. Um, I've heard what you say, but um, I like to hear it from her mouth. Oh. I, want to say it. <laughs> I want her to say it. Okay? Ne. I want to ask you have you agreed to marry me?
Mano topo no CD Muna kibofu Idi washo Onyoma odi no vi 